Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with our weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness at home rather than burdening your body down. This week I'm so excited to be sharing with you my favorite water filtration system at your kitchen sink. This system was installed in my own home several months ago and I have been using it daily multiple times a day ever since and I have been so happy with the results of the filtration system as well as the entire installation system. So this is a cloud water filter and one of the big things that the cloud water filter RO system, so reverse osmosis system, will filter out are PFAS or forever chemicals. They also filter out lead, fluoride, heavy metals, pesticides. There's a whole list that I'm going to talk to you about today and we're going to kind of dive in and see what's even in our drinking water and I'm going to share with you why I love this one so much. I do have links in the blog post to the cloud water filtration system. I also loved how easy it was to install. I actually had my dad, who's the master plumber, come and do the installation with me at my house, which was a great experience and we both thought that it was a really simple product to install in anybody's home. So let's take a look at what is in your water. So I have always said that the best place to start with your healthy house improvements is to start with your drinking water. It has been a huge conversation lately because we have been hearing more about PFAS in water and other extremely toxic chemicals and other toxins that go undetected by city water municipalities. So water in your home is one of those things that so many of us don't know enough about and it can feel really overwhelming to try to start learning about it. I completely get this. It is a huge topic with a zillion rabbit holes that truly will likely scare you and leave you wondering if there is any water that is really safe to drink. But I know that you're doing the best with the resources you have to make your home as healthy as possible. And so I'm super excited to give you only the information you truly need today. And one of my favorite solutions when it comes to filtering out water and all of the nasty toxins that can get into your drinking water, including forever chemicals. So to start, let's talk about a reverse osmosis filter and what that even is. So reverse osmosis is one of the most common types of point of use filters. So this means that they don't filter out all the water in your home, but this point of use filter will filter out toxins at one specific location. So most people choose to have an RO system or reverse osmosis in their kitchen because that is where we are doing the majority of our cooking and our drinking. So many RO systems, the one that's pictured here is the cloud water filter system that I'm going to talk to you more about because I have tried it and used it and been very happy with it. But as you can see, it comes with a lot of different filters. Filters. Most RO systems have multiple filters. This is usually a sign that it's a good water filter. It's how they're able to reduce so many different toxins because not all toxins can be removed in the same way. And so a multi-filter system is truly key to make sure you're getting everything out of your water. So the first step is a pre-filter. It is in place to remove dirt, debris, large particles. It can even remove rust and sediment that could contain like iron and things from your water. Um, the next filter is the carbon filter. This is one of the best filters you can use to remove things like forever chemicals and PFAS in water. It can also remove VOCs and chemical disinfectants and byproducts. So this would be like chlorine if you have sanitized city water. And then finally, the last filter that it goes through is the RO membrane. And this is going to help remove heavy metals and additional toxins like pesticides that might get into your water, especially if you live in an area with a lot of farming or you have well water. And then the bonus step is this remineralization. So 
if you have a really good RO filter, there is a filter that will put minerals back in the water. It's going to also adjust the pH and add in healthy minerals to the water that have been filtered out. A lot of times these are things like iron, magnesium, a whole list of them are in the filter that's for the cloud water filter system. And they're really healthy to our body. Unfortunately, an RO system typically takes them all out. So you want to add some of these back in after you filter them out. So let's talk about some of the big risk toxins that are in water supplies that we're hearing a lot about. These are all toxins that the cloud water filter filters out completely. So the first, again, we've been talking about at PFAS. Forever Chemicals, it's been detected in water across the country as a byproduct from landfills, from wastewater treatment plants, industrial sites, and fire training sites. The toxic chemical can impact liver enzymes, it can disrupt hormones, and increase risk of thyroid disease. It can also impact the reproductive system and increase cholesterol levels in the body. And once these toxins are in the body, it takes our detoxing system a really long time to get them out. So our body will naturally detox it out, but it takes a really long time with these forever chemicals. Lead, mercury, and heavy metals have also been found in water. Many heavy metals have been linked to neurological problems, and they leach into the water from either old supply pipes or from naturally occurring rocks and soil that groundwater flows through. So mercury is most closely associated with neurological and behavioral disorders. It has been linked to tremors, insomnia, memory loss, headaches, as well as issues with the immune system, the lungs, and kidneys. It's a really serious toxin, and it's very poisonous to the body, and it should be filtered out immediately and consistently. And lead is another one we hear a lot about. Lead exposure can result in some really awful health complications in children, including slowed growth, lower IQ, behavior problems, learning problems, hyperactivity, anemia and hearing problems. And if you're pregnant, lead can cause premature birth. It can reduce the growth of the fetus. And even in adults, lead exposure can lead to decreased kidney function, reproductive problems, as well as increased blood pressure. So that's another toxin we really want to pay attention to and get out of our water. Another one is fluoride. So fluoride can either be added to the water or it can be naturally occurring. So even if you have a well, this is an important toxin to be aware of because you can have naturally occurring fluoride. Fluoride can have negative impacts on the skeletal system and bone density, and it can lead to more fractured bones, and it actually prevents minerals from leaching into the skeletal system, so the bones become very frail. It has also been found to have negative impacts on the neurological system, especially in children, and it was found to lead to cognitive delays and other memory deficits in kids. And there was actually a recent study done that linked issues to the thyroid gland and disrupting natural hormone production that way. Fluoride, while it was added to our water with good intentions, really is not beneficial to our body and should not be consumed. Chlorine and chlorine byproducts are used to disinfect the water from bacteria. The byproducts of chlorine are toxic to our bodies, so chlorine can actually mimic estrogen and it impacts our normal hormone production. And chlorine can also impact the natural gut bacteria, which can have secondary impacts on multiple systems in our body. Not to mention that the chlorine in water weakens your teeth and increases tooth decay due to the corrosion of the chemical and the inflammation that it causes inside your mouth. So homes built in certain types of soil can have very high levels of radon or radioactive substances in the water. And while normally we test for radon in the air, the same concern for lung damage applies when there's radon in our drinking water. So radon in drinking water can also lead to an increased risk of stomach cancer as the toxin is ingested as well as inhaled. And it's also been linked to bladder cancer when ingested as well. 
Nitrates can be found in groundwater, especially in areas with a lot of agricultural activity. Nitrates in water can be deadly for infants under six months old because what happens is it binds to the hemoglobin in their blood and it restricts the amount of oxygen in their blood. It's also been linked to birth defects when ingested by pregnant mothers. And nitrates have been linked to different types of cancers that affect the stomach and the gastrointestinal tract. And then finally, bacteria, viruses, parasites. Bacteria can actually live in your pipes especially if you have well water. You can have bacteria and viruses in your water coming into your home as you don't have any sort of disinfection happening. An RO system is going to help remove viruses, bacteria, and even parasites from your drinking water. So while we don't want all these toxins in our water, a lot of times RO systems come at a price. And that price is water wasting. So RO systems, reverse osmosis systems, can send up to almost double the water you actually use down the drain. But what I really love about the cloud water filter system is that they have a one-to-one ratio. And this is due to the awesome holding tank that you can see in the picture here. It only discards small amounts of water as it cleans and removes toxins from your home's water supply. And we know that the whole point of a reverse osmosis filter is to remove PFAS in water and other toxins like heavy metals, pesticides, and chemicals. But because it does such an amazing job at removing these toxins, it also removes healthy minerals that are naturally in our water to begin with. These are minerals like zinc, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. These are important to our bodies, and it's important to get them in our water as this is one of the easiest ways for our body to actually absorb those important nutrients as opposed to getting them through a supplement. So the cloud water filter has a special additional filter inside, built inside of it that actually adds calcium, sodium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, and other trace minerals back into the water. And what this does is it actually creates an alkaline water right at your faucet. So it's very beneficial to your health and your wellness when you're just drinking water from your home that has been properly filtered and then had those minerals added back in. The other thing I love is the testing and certifications that are done with the cloud water filter. So one of the best things you can find when you are looking for an RO system or any water filtration system for that matter are these certifications. It's one of my shopping rules when you're hunting for the perfect water filtration system for your home. And the cloud water filters are tested by a third party. They've been tested against NSF 42, NSF 53, NSF 58, and NSF 401, which are all of the important certifications and regulations that you need to meet when it comes to a water filtration system. And another thing that I've had a really hard time finding in the past is a truly lead-free faucet, but the cloud water faucet that comes with the RO filter system is 100% lead free and it is completely made of stainless steel. So this means no lead or other heavy metals are potentially leaching into your water after you have it filtered, which is really important. So after using the cloud water filter system in my own home for cooking and drinking, I have been really happy with not only how my water tastes, but just knowing that the water is free from harmful toxins and chemicals. I was also super impressed with how easy it was to install this in my own home and just how user-friendly the entire system is for any homeowner. As always, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you and being a part of this community. I hope you were able to take away one thing from this video that you could apply to your own home to make it a little bit healthier and to unburden your body a little bit. I also hope you will subscribe to my channel because I am here every single week with new tips, new tricks, new advice on creating a healthy space that truly supports your health and your wellness.